All right, with that said, I wanna welcome everyone again. My name is Shirley Yang. Happy Friday to you all. It's almost the weekend, we made it. I'm the head of community. I've been with Brain Trust for just a little over a year. And today is a really special edition, let's say, of our all hands because I'm joined in real life by Srina, our VP of product. Hi all, nice to meet you. Um, I am uh, just wrapping month two at Brain Trust, which is crazy. Um, and I spent the last few months learning about all things freelance, crypto, um, and our and our product and platform. And what I'm really focused on is figuring out how to make the platform work harder for you. So make it easier for you to join, make it easier for you to find jobs, and then make it easier for you to help grow the network. Um, for us, that means referral. That's how you earn tokens. And that's how we're going to find the right talent to bring in um, to connect with all the awesome jobs on our platform. Sheena is an incredible woman, just like many of you. She's actually an entrepreneur. She's here in Chicago with me. Uh, she sold two companies in the past several years and joined us to head our product to make sure the experience is the best that it can be for you. So we're so honored to have, us, have her join our team. So to start, I'd like to actually introduce a few other new members who joined Brain Chest. Uh, we are in high growth mode. So uh, Frank Loeffler, he's an advisor. He's a friend of Adam's. Um, they started a company together. Frank joins us as head of growth and also Roman Urbanovsky. Uh, he joins us as senior community manager. Uh, Frank and Roman, if you can please say hi real quick. Hi everyone, super excited to be here and uh, what an amazing group of people. Um, I just can't wait to dive in and uh, you know, learn everything about the business. This is like day five for me now. So um, totally fresh and new, but um, this is fantastic. And uh, what a great project. And uh, I can't wait to, to dig in and get to meet more of you. Hey, everyone. Uh, super happy to be here. Uh, love to see that we have a huge audience today and looking forward to meeting you all, um, especially in our one on ones and uh, helping you get around uh, Rain Trust really well and uh, helping you reach success here. Thank you, Roman. The Roman's in Croatia. He's uh, covering our European time zones and beyond. And Frank is in the Bay Area. Um, and so uh, in addition, we also have some other rock stars join our team. Uh, recently, we had uh, Casey, Kevin, uh, Michelle, and Vince also join our sales and talent team if you want to wave. So people can see. Um, next time we'll have you speak as well. This is a very short meeting with a lot to get to. But uh, with that said, I would like to share my screen. Okay. Welcome everyone. Can you see my screen? Fantastic. Uh, to open today's session, I would like to share some very exciting news. Um, if you probably have already seen, we have some major, major clients join BrainFest. Uh, someone like Goldman Sachs, uh, they actually are hiring for 40 different roles. Um, and this is a huge deal to us because Goldman is one of those companies where, hey, if they're happy with us, we can expand the account. I'm not going to get into too much of that. Uh, Patrick and Pierre from Enterprise Team will go more into it. In addition to Goldman, we also have Wayfair, Colgate, and so many more amazing names, amazing logos join Brain Fest. Um, and we're just so excited that this is happening right now. And with that said, uh, you know, with open roles, we want to make sure that you know to use your referral link. Uh, our network grows and is strong because of good talent like you referring your friends who are also good talent. Really happy to see that uh, talent referrals is 33% of you today who joined. So please use your referral link. How you find it is go to your talent dashboard, you log into BrainTest, and then go to uh, copy and paste your referral link and send it to your friends, send it through email, post it on LinkedIn, and uh, all of your referrals are tracked through this link and you earn 1% free trust uh, of their projects when they sign up. So um, speaking of referral, we have a special guest today from the Talent Network, um, Connie Kwan, who is actually a super referrer. And Connie is gonna tell us a little bit more about her referral story and um, you know, how she referred so many people to Green Trust. 
Yeah, and Connie, just a little background on Connie. She's the Chief Product Officer at Care Inc. She was also Head of Product at Alassian. Now she's the CEO of Product Maestro. It's a platform that educates individuals and enterprises on how to tell stories to clients. So Connie, welcome. And please tell us about why storytelling and why is it so important, how you built an online following, and how did you get so many referrals into BrainFast? Yeah, absolutely. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, I currently consult as a fractional chief product officer for C to C C companies in B2B products. And uh, that's why I'm on the platform as a talent. Uh, but I also love this platform. So I refer a lot of folks uh, through my network. And the following that I have is I, I teach a class on storytelling for leaders. Uh, it's a six week online class that I teach. In fact, we're, we're starting another cohort very soon. Um, and you asked the question of why storytelling is so important. Um, to answer that question, I think I wanna first ask a question to everyone on the call actually. Uh, related to, to closing clients, right? And the question is, do you have clients that got away, right? The one where you were so close to winning, but you still failed to win that client. If that happened to you, um, type yes in the chat. Let's see how many people have had clients that got away. You were like, you were so close. You were sure they were gonna sign, they didn't. Oh my gosh, look at that, that totally happens. It happens to me all the time right? It happens to me less now. And, you know, here's probably what happened, right? You laid out all the reasons they should hire you. You know, they need to hire you. They know they need to hire you, but they didn't really get it. Like their eyes didn't really twinkle when they're talking to you. And there's probably a moment in the conversation where you're like, ah, this one's going to go get away. You know, they're just, they're, they know they need it, but they're not willing to sign. They're not willing to shell out the money. They're not willing to take that step with you. Right, so, so why isn't that connecting? Mary Andrew Liu, who's a civil rights activist and civil rights activists are, are the best storytellers in the world because they are motivating people to volunteer their time to participate in the cause, right? And she says, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute. People will never forget how you made them feel. And that's why storytelling is important because storytelling does two things. Storytelling confers feelings and storytelling confers meaning. And those two things make people change minds. How That's how people change minds is that story that confers feelings and meaning to that person. And so that client that got away from us, that client didn't really feel that they needed to have us on board. That client didn't have, a, 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 they didn't feel the meaning, they didn't feel and they didn't have enough meaning to bring us on board. And so in the story, in, in, the, in the selling pitch, in the connection with the client, it isn't just like, hey, here's all the reasons. It's really like, how do you tell that story so that you confer that, that meaning and that feeling um, with the client? Um, and so, you know, for consultants like us, um, you know, the feeling we're trying to confer usually is confidence, is trust, is probably a number of other feelings. If you have thoughts about what those feelings should be, type it in the chat and share it with everybody else. Um, you know, we'd love to learn from everybody else. But yeah, that's, that is why storytelling is so important. And that's why I teach it with leaders because leaders have to influence. And so do consultants, right? As consultants, we're constantly in the company we're in, we're in for a short time and we need to influence the team and help get our job done. Um, and yeah, uh, you are asking also, Shirley was asking also about the, the referral. So um, one of the ways, you know, I bring a lot of referral in is through my network. I use the storytelling technique to help, like most people are looking for uh, more gigs, right? They're out there. They don't even know that they could do this. They don't even know that they can quit the full-time job and be a part of a gig economy, uh, which is really a growing market and, and a growing sector. So I help people understand that, tell the story of the gig economy and that growth and what it means to do that so that they can really feel what it would be like to go independent um, and they can understand why they might do that for their life, like what that makes, what, what meaning that has for their life, like that flexibility, ability to travel, et cetera. Um, and if they are bought in with those things, 
then they're likely to sign up. Um, so when I share that information, you know, I, I always go back to what is the story that the person needs to hear in order to convert, in order to be willing to work with me as a consultant, in order to want to come join our community, um, you know, in Mary Angelou's words, in order to like follow a cause. Thank you so much, Connie. That's, that's really awesome. Um, I think it's giving us context as to not just posting your link on LinkedIn, but also telling people the why. So I, I will share a playbook uh, for everyone and you can use as templates if you like. But thank you, Connie, for your time today. Yeah, very nice next, to meet you. Yeah, next we have Trust co-founders, Adam and Gabe. Uh, they have some really exciting network news to share. Uh, the crypto space is heating up. I just uh, bought some more Ethereum last night. Uh, so Adam, tell us what's going on. Hey, everybody. Um, it's so nice to see uh, all these new faces here. Um, Shirley, do you want to kill the screen share? That way it'll uh, grid back out so we can all see each other. Thank you. Um, first of all, Connie, thanks so much. Uh, great to see you. Really appreciate that. I couldn't agree more about the storytelling uh, is such an important part. The emotional kind of um, sense you leave with somebody, with anybody is, is just critical. That's what they're going to remember. It's really, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an underappreciated skill. Uh, and thank you for all the referrals. Um, it's, you know, folks like you, uh, like you know, most people on this call that um, are really making brain trust grow exponentially without you know the, the core team having to do all the work. And th I mean, that, that's a good segue. I want to kind of start with before I get into to more blockchain based updates. But um, you know, the whole point for for the folks that are new here, and it's always a good reminder for ever, everyone else who's been working on this project together for a while. The whole point of a tokenized network, a user owned network like Brain Trust is to allow the community, the folks that actually make their living on the network, own and control the network, right? Like make the decisions about the rules um, and, and refer the talent, re vet the talent, bring the clients on, do all the things that we would have otherwise had to raise hundreds of millions of dollars for, and then eventually become a majority investor owned network. And those investors would need their money back and, 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 uh, and then some, you know, rightfully so. Uh, and that money back, that return for them would come in the form of very high fees that would be paid by the talent. And so we kill that whole vicious cycle by being controlled by our users from day one. And that allows us to have this awesome fee structure where we charge talent a whopping 0% uh, on their market rate and the clients a flat 10% just to help us kind of keep the lights on. So that's a reminder of um, why we're doing this, why user owned and controlled networks will grow faster and be more valuable than investor owned networks. Um, and that's the whole point of blockchain. Blockchain technology helps uh, erase the middleman and give the value that that middleman extracts back to the users. So that, that's what we're all about here. Um, in, uh, in, to, to go through a few more updates, so you know, we're, we're, we're gradually migrating here from the core team, sort of, you know, running the product roadmap to getting the community more and more involved. So we just, for example, uh, put out a vote to the network on um, whether folks would want to receive their payment for their jobs in uh, USD coin, which is a cryptocurrency version of the US dollar that is backed by Coinbase and Circle here in the United States. Uh, it's essentially as good as a dollar, but it's much easier to transfer. It can be sent on the Ethereum network in about 10 minutes, as opposed to ACH and uh, international transfers, which uh, in fiat can take you know, three to 10 days, which is pretty ridiculous. So uh, our community voted overwhelmingly to, uh, to build this feature. So it's on the roadmap. Um, so it's just one example. We're going to be doing a lot more of this where, where the community will, will be involved in actually controlling where this network goes. Uh, and then, uh, as mentioned earlier, Goldman Sachs, uh, one of our, our big new clients, tons of roles on the board. Um, they are really getting interested in this space. Gabe and I got to meet with their, uh, their co-CIO recently here in California, and he was just ecstatic about what we're doing at Brain Trust um, and, and the DeFi space and how the, the, literally the global banking system is being rebuilt on blockchain. And so they're offering Bitcoin to their wealth management clients. They uh, they just led an investment in a crypto company called Coinmetrics. Um, so it's really interesting to see like some of the smarter firms that are clearly going to be disrupted by this are, are leaning into 
uh, being part of the ecosystem and certainly, you know, our, our big fans of what we're doing here at Brain Trust. So um, that's it for me. Uh, great to see all the new faces here and really, uh, really appreciate everybody here. Over to, over to you, Gabe. Hey everyone, uh, nice to see some uh, some friendly faces and also some new ones. Welcome to the community. Um, really great to be here with all of you. Uh, wanted to share a couple things. Um, one of them was Adam and I uh, just spent a little bit of time uh, at Harvard Business School uh, with uh, kind of the Future of Work program, and spent a spent an afternoon basically being grilled by a bunch of business students uh, on this business model, and and kind of where we started was was like using the framing of of this idea of the gig economy being primarily kind of an economic disaster for the free for for the people doing the gigs right whether you're a freelancer or whether people are or are, are working on doordash or uber or, or lyft have been systematically exploited by marketplaces and and essentially middlemen that extract disproportionate fees from all of those people and they don't share any of the enterprise value and so that's honestly like what aligns us here. The whole vision for this company is to distribute, you know, uh, access to economic opportunity more equitably around the world and, and both like uh, help people earn more and also distribute the value of, of the network and distribute the value of, or distribute like um, the voting control and governance more equitably so that all of you have a voice and, and that voice really matters. Um, so it was a really interesting time to spend time with uh, over at Harvard. Uh, I would say a bunch of business students that were a little green behind the ears that didn't necessarily understand like why would you know uh, a freelancer come from another network um, or why would somebody want to vote on on roadmap features? Why would somebody want to vote on a feature like you know implementing USD coin? So. It was a, I think it was an interesting place where we were basically getting grilled for three hours. But then what started to happen as the as like the time went on is like you had a lot of real skeptics. And then as the time went on, basically you had more people nodding in the screen. And then it turned into like this whole Hollywood Squares thing where like everyone's nodding and being like, oh yeah, that's the future. I get it. I get it. And so uh, I guess I just wanted to share with you guys that like you're building that future and this is a historic project that like when we look back on what we've built as as a community in a few years this will be the model for how new marketplaces get built this new model of dropping fees to zero and giving ownership and control out to the people that run their businesses on the network like that's why we're here we're here to put the power and the ownership back in all of your hands and so thank you for your patience and the love and the understanding as we've like gone from this early incubation to now going into this period of, of scaling out the network. Um, obviously we go through growing pains, but we're going through those together um, and therefore the greater good of, of all of you. So uh, thank you guys all for your continued contribution and all the love that you pour into this community. Thank you so much, Gabe. And uh, we share the link for the, Case Study Harvard interview, the process um, in the chat is on the Brain Trust blog. I just wanna highlight real quick, I love this quote. I mean, Gabe talked about people didn't get it at first and then finally, um, this is actually from them. I think there are two core pieces with the Brain Trust model that look different, okay? The first is that everyone who is a party on the transaction understands what they're getting and the other party is getting, right? The other piece of this is that I think the incentive system ultimately will allow better matches. Um, I mean, this is from them uh, and which job well done, you guys, they get it now. <laughs> that said, uh, kicking over to sales, Pierre and Patrick, please take it away. Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, this is Pierre, uh, I work with Grady and Patrick in the enterprise sales. Um, so I guess, you know, uh, our results uh, last quarter, so we just closed our sales quarter at the end of April. And I guess uh, our results really uh, validate all you've heard around uh, the value proposition and the value we're bringing to the table. Uh, and it resonates uh, massively with our clients and uh, obviously uh, with you guys as a talent. So uh, last quarter, we essentially came in 180% over our plan. So we're essentially a few months ahead of what we're expecting to be. Uh, and essentially grew 100% quarter to quarter. So it's a, it's a testament to 
obviously the value proposition, but also all the work that you guys are putting in, uh, creating great proposals, and uh, you know it resonates with our clients. Um, we posted, you know, twice the amount of uh, jobs that we we're expecting to post, um, and we we're also able to extend uh, quite a few projects. So our churn is currently forty percent uh, below our expectation. So. I think you know clients definitely love working with the guys, and once you've started working with the guys, they want to keep working. So that's really awesome. Um, what else? I mean, I think you know um, overall uh, we've had a great quarter. Uh, you know, massive growth. Uh, we onboarded uh, really exciting companies. Uh, I think what's most exciting is really what's actually coming down the pipe. It's even more exciting than the quarter we've had. Um, we have some really uh, amazing logos. So obviously we've talked about Goldman and uh, Patrick Goldwain a little more on that, but we also have companies like Wayfair, American Eagle, Publicis Sapien, Colgate, Guardian, Nextdoor, Fabric, Compass. So a real interesting mix of uh, Fortune 500 companies and fast growing startups. So there's really, you know, in terms of talent, there's really something for everybody. Patrick, would you like to talk about what's coming next? A little yeah. More about, yeah. Uh, Goldman as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Pierre. First off, guys, so for those of you that I haven't met, I uh, run the client engagements for Brain Trust. So as they get onboarded and continue to post, I will take over a lot of those engagements. So first, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the great work you're doing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the one that usually gets to handle, you know, all the sticky situations. Uh, and I just don't have a lot of those. You guys just get into these projects and just kick so much ass. And it just makes my job a heck of a lot easier. So first, thank you guys so much. You guys are doing some great work. Um, and it's really made a difference. Um, you know, I'll share a couple of things in terms of some of the repeat hires we've had lately. I, I got a personal email from a guy at Stanley this past week. It was a new division that was making their first hires at Stanley. And, and he sent me a note, just said, Patrick, I, I can't believe the, the amount of incredibly talented people you put in front of us. And it was for three roles, right? Uh, and a couple of the people are on this call today. Uh, and that continues to happen all the time, right? We get this feedback from our clients saying, like, this talent's just doing an amazing job. And um, Pack Life is going out and actually rehiring the same people over and over again because they want to bring them into projects for other divisions based on the work that they've done in the past. You know, TaskRabbit, um, another, another client that just continues to hire. Uh, I just extended Bill last week for another six months, and uh, Adi told me, uh, yeah, you better extend him. Like, he is a core member of our team. Uh, so the clients, the clients are digging what you guys are doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I do want to echo real quick just some um, um, feedback from Connie on, on the storytelling. I know as we present candidates, we present you guys and you go through the interview process. That is the biggest piece of feedback I get uh, when, when, when candidates don't get the job. And most of the time it's because they just did not do a good job of telling their story. They didn't connect the dots. And I love how Connie talked about you always remember how someone made you feel. You guys should walk into every single interview thinking that, how do I want this person to feel about me, about my work, and about my story? Um, I'm telling you right now, that's, that's what these guys are looking for. Uh, they're, they're looking for you to come in and tell your story and help them understand how you're going to help them get to their goals. So um, I'll, I'll stop there, but that, that's, that's really, that, was really, that really touched me, especially as I start to think about how we're fighting for you guys every day and how we're trying to get these clients to see what great talent we have. Um, keep preparing for those interviews, guys. Keep working hard. Um, so just real quick, um, from a, from a pipeline standpoint, uh, we talked about Goldman. I, I won't beat that one. It's, it's my client. I'm all, I'm all the, obviously very vested in getting those jobs higher, but I'm also excited about Wayfair. Um, we just onboarded Intel. Uh, so we expect to start posting jobs very soon for these guys. Um, IBM, we're in negotiations with them as well. They have, uh, a, an immense amount of opportunity to bring forth. So Overall, guys, this is exciting. I, I'm, I'm pumped to be here. I, I, I love coming to work. I love working with this talent team. I love working with you guys. So uh, keep up the great work. Uh, as always, let us know how we can help. Um, and uh, I'll turn it back over to you, Shirley. Thank you so much, Patrick. Um, Patrick's the man expanding accounts for us. A huge score with Goldman, and we really want to get those jobs filled. So please use your referral links again, and um, we'll make sure everything gets tracked back to you. That said, let's uh, kick it over to Patsy, Open Jobs. Would you please give us an update? 
Hi guys, um, I've, I have like an agenda I want to talk about, but before I even go into it, I have like 5,000 things I just want to echo that were already said on this call. So thank you everybody for making great points. Um, to Patrick and making, um, or to Connie and Patrick and making a point or storytelling during an interview. Um, what I want to say here is please remember that before you got um, into the interview or before you are interviewing, you're also telling a story with your profile. So that's one thing that I just want to stress here. We've been working on some um, interesting initiatives with Shirley of how to update your profile to keep it up to date and to keep it like very much aligned with the jobs that you are looking for and that you're applying for. So that's, an, that's the first story that your client or that our client will ever um, kind of read or hear about you. So um, be, be sure to make your profile a living thing and go look into it from time to time. Um, keep it up to date. Um, awesome. And then if you haven't uh, kind of, if it's not clear yet, we've onboarded Goldman Sachs and they're bringing 40 plus jobs. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's, um, it's here, it's happening. Um, and we definitely are super excited and we're definitely also really asking, are asking for your help because just 40 plus Java developers is um, basically the reason why we're kind of not sleeping um, at night. So if you have uh, in your network, in your, you know, in your life, if you know a great Java developer, definitely use the referral link, refer them and bring them on board. The good thing about Goldman Sachs roles is the fact that they're hiring like cross teams and cross boards. So um, whether like whatever you specialize in when it comes to Java, or if you're like great, I don't know, with iOS or um, with uh, front ends, like with React, then there is going to be something that you're going to uh, fit very well with them. So if you want to work with Goldman Sachs, you're expert in one of these areas, go talk to Eva. Um, she's one of, or obviously Patrick, because um, uh, he's leading those roles, but Eva is going to be the best one to advise you on where you would fit in terms of the team, in terms of the role, in terms of the project. Um, and then again, please do not forget to, you know, just watch out for Java developers. <laughs> Because these folks are hard to get <laughs> and we need more of them. Um, and then there is also a special um, referral that we're doing for Goldman as well. So definitely look into that as well. It's a uh, 500 bucks if you if your referral gets hired. So um, I, th I think that's worth, you know, paying attention to. Um, awesome. And then Goldman is a lovely client to have, but not the only one. Um, so there is also SIFChain uh, that is still intensively hiring. They've already hired for countless developers with us. They're looking for a Solidity or Golang or distributed systems developers and engineers. Um, and this is also, we should not play favorites, but um, I'm just going to whisper that it is my favorite client of Eva. So, um, you know, th that, that means something. She's very picky. So that means something. It's a great client to work for. Uh, go talk to her if um, if you're an expert in one of these areas. Um, and then when it comes to Rust and Solidity, I also have a couple of blockchain roles on my plate. So ping me if you would like to work for Privy. They're actually open to global talent. Um, they're going to look into Americas, um, uh, Asia, Europe. So come talk to me if you wanna um, if you wanna work for one of those. Um, and then um, we obviously cannot leave out our amazing uh, designers and uh, product roles. Um, so Nike is actually having a short term project with us right now. It's something similar to Strava. Um, it's going to take about two months to complete. So more like a shorter project. And also they have a pretty extensive onboarding. So if you're a prototyper that is currently about to wrap up a project and you're looking to kind of start interviewing as elsewhere, um, go ping Annie. Uh, she's going to walk you through what, what is necessary. Um, and then Pendo is also building something incredibly complex in the data and analytics space. Um, so they very, very rapidly need a prototyper um, and they're just basically looking for a Figma wireframe prototyper. So if that is something that you do, again, go ping Annie. Um, and then not to take basically the entirety of this meeting, I just want to mention that Fabric and Guardian Life are still hiring for product managers. 
specifically with e-commerce and client-facing experience. So if that is you, go check those roles out, definitely. And then, uh, yeah, do not forget to ping me if you have any questions about the open roles, um, how you're fit, whether you're a fit, um, or anything that, you, anything that you need the update um, on. So yeah, I guess I guess that's on the open roles. Back to you, Shirley. Thanks so much, Pasty. Very exciting stuff. Um, next up, we have Zed from our talent network. Zed is a full stack blockchain developer and recently won a project with Snowfork. Um, we want to have Zed come on to tell us a little bit about his background and most importantly, how did you, what was your process applying through Braintrust and what do you think made you win the project? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Shelly. I think uh, when it comes to uh, winning uh, proposals, I think one of the things that happens uh, with the developers we tend to forget to honor our intuition and uh, inspiration and uh, fear. So when it comes to intuition and uh, inspiration, those are the things that must uh, spare you on to immediately uh, get into a certain state of mind and then just uh, write your proposal based on what you are feeling. And that feeling is what you're trying to transmit to the other side so that they quickly sort of like almost picking your brain or picking your state of mind so that there's a connection. It's almost like you're creating an invisible connection between yourself and where you are trying to reach out. Fear on the other side, it allows you to take a pause and ask yourself, why am I afraid of this? And if I am afraid, what are the kind of things that I can maybe turn a weakness into a positive? Because sometimes, uh, let's say as uh, technical people, we tend to be mechanical about things. Let's say you immediately jump into a proposal. You have this methodical approach to things. I must quickly write, I do A, B, C, D. I know A, B, C, D. And then you forget all about creating a certain uh, impression, connecting with the certain type of uh, role or job that they are talking about, making them feel like you are the right person for the for the job that has been uh, offered. So I think that's one of the things that I think is uh, critical in terms of having that state of mind that allows you to actually do the storytelling. It's quite easy to tell everyone uh, storytelling is important, but how do you connect with that state of mind that allows you to do the storytelling? So I think that's a thing that is very important. In terms of uh, me being able to get the, the role, I think I was also in that state of mind where I sort of uh, tried to understand uh, the, 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 the kind of client that I'm dealing with, what they want, and the kind of things that I think another individual is going to overlook in terms of uh, putting in the proposal. So I asked myself, how do I make myself appear unique? How do I show that I have thought maybe three steps ahead in terms of the direction where they want to take the project. So that's, I think, uh, uh, what I can share from my side. Fantastic insights, Zed. Thank you so, so much. That was beyond my expectation. Um, the mindset is so important. And I think we forget that behind the screen, a hiring manager is still a person, right? And humans are all emotional animals. So we need to be able to connect through the internet through a piece of proposal and you nailed it. Um, I'm going to, we would love to turn what you said into a blog post <laughs> and, and your recording. Thank you so much for your time, Zed. Thank you very much. Next, we have uh, Barbara from Marketing. Mark, uh, Barbara, you wanna take it away? Yes, hello everyone. Great to be here as always. I am going to share my screen. Uh, can you all see that? Yep, I'm assuming that's a yes. Thank you. Um, all right. So just as a reminder, you know, what are what what do we want to do in marketing? Um, we're we're here to help Brain Trust develop a distinctive, captivating, and trusted brand. And ultimately, we're trying to build this revolution for how the world should work. So what happened in the month of April? Uh, we had our best performing month in the history of brain trust for website traffic. That means that a lot of your referrals were, were coming to the website wanting to learn about brain trust and ultimately applying. 
So we had 500 uh, talents sign up um, on the website. This doesn't include any of your direct referrals. This is just people who landed on the Brain Trust website and wanted to join our network. We also rolled out a brand new uh, landing page experience for a lot of folks who wanted to learn more about Brain Trust. So uh, this is an example of some new experiences that we, we produced. We also had four blogs go live, um, one talking about the Harvard uh, case study on brain trust. We interviewed Chris Stanton, who was the lead professor on this case. Uh, really interesting. It's nice to hear his take on, on why he found the brain trust model so interesting. We also talked about how we rebranded uh, brain trust. If you guys recall back in March, we had a big brand new website launch. Uh, we talk about how we went through that process in just four months with a team of talent from Brain Trust. And then there's some uh, interesting uh, prep for your upcoming interview uh, tips. And then just a high level take at what, what is next for remote work. Also, not sure if you noticed, but our talent newsletter has a brand new look and some new content. So we are working on improving how we communicate with the, the the community. Um, so we're going to be taking a more active approach and highlighting new jobs on brain trust and then sharing some of the great resources that are getting produced by the community itself. Also, uh, you know, we're all owners here and we want to make sure that we are communicating weekly what's going on on the Brain Trust Network. So we are now producing weekly uh, all hands recaps, um, things that we're seeing in the community, what the core team is up to. If you want to stay up to date with what the network is doing every week, please check our blog. So how can you get involved? Um, there's a lot of ways. I just want to quickly highlight, uh, we had several contributors to our content in the last month. Uh, shout out to Brian, Mark, Patrick, Stephanie, Tian, Thomas, Sergio, Claudio, Carmen, Marcy, Bill, Kelly, John, and Andrea. Uh, you all helped uh, either pro by providing feedback on content that we're working on. There's a big uh, checklist going live later today that many folks contributed to. Um, if you're looking for ways to get involved, we are always welcome to ideas for topics of content, uh, participating with us in brain brainstorm sessions, providing feedback in Slack. Uh, I'm trying to post weekly um, some things that we're thinking about to get your feedback on. And just, you know, I think today's theme for our all hands is tell your story. So Zed, we're definitely going to be hitting you up. Uh, we would love to, to recap everything you just shared with us. And then anyone else who's interested in sharing their story, we want to tell it. Uh, so let's chat. So uh, just to conclude today um, on that same theme, wanna run a poll and Shirley can help me with this. Um, we wanna know what templates or checklists can the network create to help you? So if uh, the, the idea on here is not listed, um, can you guys see the poll yet? There we go. Um, please drop it in the comments. And while you're doing that, just to share what we want to do with this information, how we're going to take this, this is going to help us prioritize what we produce first in a collaboration with you. So you guys should be on the lookout for Slack messages asking for contributions to these great resources that we're developing. Let's see. Shirley, how are we doing? Do we get some responses? Sorry, I was on mute. About half voted. Let's give oh. uh, 10 more seconds and I'll end the poll. We want to know what matters to you because we're a network together and whatever you say, we build. So. All right, I'm going to end the poll. Proposals or the clear winner. Great. Um, thank you all. We are definitely going to use this information. Uh, Kat, please uh, take a screenshot of that if you if you were able to. Um, and that is all from marketing today. Thank you so much, Barbara. That's awesome. Um, and speaking of building the network and decentralizing our network, 
very exciting updates on governance. Mark and Megan. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, first, thank you so much, Zed, for sharing those thoughts. That was really, really well put. Uh, there's a, a joke going around in our Slack channel on titles for developers and designers, and one of those was philosophers. Uh, it's not really a joke when it comes to you. You sound like a philosopher. So thank you for sharing all those thoughts. Um, on, the, on the governance side, so when we talk about a user-controlled community, what that really means on the ground is one token, one vote. So all of us on this call, uh, this is meant for the approved talent only. So if you snuck in and you're not approved and you don't have any tokens, go out and get some if you want to have control of this network. But all of us have the same tokens and those all equate to a vote in where this company goes and what we do in the future. So governance is how we're doing that. We're building this pro process now. A couple of you uh, have already joined us in the early testing phases. We're through two phases of that testing. We're gonna take a, a two week break here while we continue some of the on-chain development work. And then starting on May 20th, um, ahead of that time, we're going to reach out to get some more people involved in this testing where you either create or connect your cryptocurrency wallet and then use the tools that we're going to use in real life to vote on uh, proposals and gather feedback from the community. So this is right now we're using this Asana form to, to gather product feedback. Uh, there's going to be other tools that we use in the future. And if you want to join and help with that testing and see how things are going to work when we launch this token, uh, it's a, a really exciting part of the company. It sounds uh, a little bit down in the weeds when we just say governance but it's one of the main reasons I'm here. And I think all of us are feeling like we have a say in the company and, and what happens. So some exciting work there. We'll have uh, ping everyone in Slack. If you'd like to join uh, this next round of governance testing to see how we're going to do it. And it also gives everyone a, a great opportunity to share your ideas of what you would like the company to do uh, in, in the future as well, because we're using some real life examples to vote on when we're, when we're going through these tests. And with that, back to the power team in Chicago to Shrina to talk about product. All right, we're, can we see the screen? Go ahead. All right, I, I hit share here, will it not? Everyone can see it now. Great. No, terrible. Everyone can see it except us, uh, sorry, I don't know what I just did. Do you wanna use your slides? Yeah, let's do that. Give me one second, guys. It's our first time using PowerPoint. <laughs> there we go. Oh, someone else is sharing the screen. No, that's me. That's you. Okay. All right, cool. We worked out. We worked it out. All right. So, quick product update. Um, Want to share what's new and what happened in the last month? Um, the big new thing that just launched is the ability to actually refer specific jobs. So, if you go to the job board. You will see here a little refer and earn link. And also if you go to a specific job details page, you will see this new refer and earn button. Um, so when you uh, click that, you can then actually share that specific role um, with details about that specific job post to your network. Um, so this is an exciting way to make sharing, sharing jobs easier for, for all of you. Um, and then if you go ahead and post, the, the job will actually post with the details about who's hiring and what the role is and how much they pay. So uh, the first step in making referral a little bit easier for you all, um, which builds on the theme of what's next. Um, there is first and foremost, a new look and feel coming to the platform. Um, so we are gonna be reskinning the platform to match the branding on some of the, uh, um, on the marketing website and other properties that you see. And the exciting thing is that this new design system not only enables us to design and build faster, but in the future, it's gonna allow us to open up to add more contributors, um, including all of you into helping us build the platform. Um, and where we are starting um, is with the talent profile because we wanna put a spotlight on you and we want you to be able to tell your story um, and have that story be front and center in the profile. So um, that this is the first step we're taking in um, making your story come through in the new profile format. Second thing is better referral. Uh, we, you can now share specific jobs, but we want to make it even easier for you with one click to share uh, your referral link to all the places um, where it's helpful for you to get the word out about brain trust. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna be doing is making those rewards dynamic. So right now it's a single reward, 
but we're going to be dialing up those rewards based on what it is that the network needs. Um, so be on the lookout as we have more updates on um, which jobs, which roles are most in demand, um, because those referrals will soon be worth more. And then uh, on that same theme, uh, we want to know how do you want to refer? What, what channels should we prioritize? Where do you want to share and post your link? Um, so Shirley is about to launch yet another poll. Um, let us know where you want to post your referral link. Give it, give it a minute here. I have the luxury and benefit of seeing the results come in live. <laughs> Very interesting. What's app? Interesting. <laughs> and, and if people do pick other, um, let us know in the chat what, what are other places we're not thinking about where you want to post. Okay. And you tell us, me when. You could, I think we can share the results. Okay. <laughs> so uh, number one is LinkedIn, um, but just slightly pulls out ahead of email. So uh, that is uh, exciting for me because those are the top two places that we are already set to prioritize. Um, so we will keep those two front and center um, and then think about how we can make SMS and WhatsApp. It seems like the next, the next options uh, second in line. Fantastic update. Thank you so much, Trina. And before we move on to our traditional Earn Be Trust Live, I want to just underscore something that you said. Um, the new, if we can go back to where you can share each job or refer each yeah. job. Um, we're going to stop sharing. You want to stop sharing? Yeah. Okay. So if you go to the job board right now, click into each job, you'll see a Be Trust amount. It's a B-Trust logo, uh, or sorry, Brain Trust logo. That's the, your referral, right, reward. So if you click on it, it gives you three options to share right now, right? Mm -hmm. And it's meant to be super easy for you to refer from there. You can e copy your link, email a friend, click on the LinkedIn one to share to LinkedIn. It should pop up in LinkedIn. And then the last one is Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, so we actually have text already embedded there. So you click on the Twitter link, it'll have text pre-populated. Do you pre-populate the referral link? Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Yeah, personal referral link. So literally one click for you to refer. Um, if we can make it any easier, let us know. Um, go to Slack, we have a product update channel. You can always add some feedback there, but we would really love for you to test this out. This is something that we thought was really fun and easy for you to do for for referrals. So thank you so much, Trina, for making that available. Okay, lastly, with um, our tradition, here's a place to earn Be Trust Live. This is Be Trust Trivia. And I usually, for the new people who just joined, um, we typically ask questions, something about the Brain Trust Network or something that we talked about during our event to see if you're paying attention, right? Okay. <laughs> So this is how it works. I'm gonna drop the question in the chat and I'm gonna read the question. And the first person who puts in chat the correct answer, you'll earn B trust. And I'll send it to you right after this. So here's the question. What is the recommended number of skills to include in your brain trust profile? <laughs> is it A, five to 10, B, 15 to 20, C, 20 to 30, or D, 30 to 50? Wow. Let's see. Vivek put eight. <laughs> All right. Now I know who are good students. All right. Uh, recommended skills. Let's see who got it right. So the answer is B, 15 to 20. The first person who got it is Tamjit. You got it correct. You are our winner today. Congratulations. Well, thank you all for joining us on our all hands. I hope you enjoyed our session. We want to see you every month. Um, tell us how we can be better and wishing you all a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Thanks, gang. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.